What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Card Collecting and Investing with me, DJ Magards. Hope you're super well. Thought I'd jump on, do a quick recap of the golden auctions that ended last night. A chunk of Marvel Card selling as always. I did plan to wake up at 3am to join my fellow Marvel Card content creators, but I hit the snooze button and I did not wake up. So yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but fascinating uh, video to watch with um, Scandale Marvel Guy, Spidey... Uh, Marvel Madness, Neo, Flipping Steve, and uh, Valor, I think, was on there too. And it was also fascinating to see the comments come in, you know, people giving their opinions on prices, what's happening with Marvel cards in general, what's next. Uh, Spider-Man Metal is also obviously one of the hot subjects uh, too. But yeah, just fascinating to see how many people were dropping in, which is fantastic to see and how far we've come in the Marvel card world, I guess. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is go through some prices. Give a brief summary summary of what happened last night. Have a look at what cards are still listed, uh, which ends tonight on Golden. And then there's a few PWCC cards listed too, which are fascinating uh, as well. So yeah, summary. I've put a few notes down. So some really strong sales and some absolute steals. I think that's the best way you can say it. <laughs> um, I did put as my top note, these are some of the lower end cards which were part of um you know collections that were accumulated big collections or big dog collections that were accumulated um again we all know that the majority of these cards are from one seller and uh, that's pretty obvious <laughs> and these are not the the rare rare top tier top grades uh that they have so um yeah, this this doesn't mean that this is it. <laughs> this is going to continue to happen um, for the next, yeah, however long. Um, but yeah, there's going to be plenty more of this kind of golden auction style um, format happening. So yeah, not the end. But yeah, these are these are not the big dog cards. These are the kind of the lesser, the ones that you know they were bought up in in a deal. You know, maybe they were like done as a sweetener. Oh, we'll add this in. You know, you get my drift, uh, hopefully, uh, from that. The next thing is, like, long-term value. So I I personally believe that the a lot of these, especially 2013 cards, the first year of Fleer Retro Marvel, and again, all of these are pretty much PMGs, and I'll, I'll go on to the other bits afterwards, but the 2013, the first year, is very, very important. Like, people sometimes overlook that fact. Um, you know, the blues and the greens... They are something special. Like this is a special card, and if you're locking that away for five to ten years, I don't think you're going to be uh, you're going to be outpacing the bank's interest rate, in my personal opinion. <laughs> um, that's 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 what I'm thinking. Uh, so yeah, long term value definitely not for all cards, not for all grades, etc., etc., not for all characters. So it completely depends on the cards. But I think you know, long term, definitely for. Uh, a lot of Marvel cards, yeah. I hope. I really do hope. Um, the third point I had down was um, bringing new people into Marvel. I don't think I heard this talked about last night, was, you know, this actually was a great opportunity for someone who wanted to get their hands on a cool Marvel card, a cool character that they've been kind of trying to get hold of to dip their toe. And maybe it's a sports card guy who, who's who been looking at the Marvel card market thinking, oh, geez, that's too much. Oh, okay, what's this? Maybe I can get a, you know, a PSA 7 Scarlet Spy. I don't know. I'm just making this up now, you know, for a grand, for a 1K, which seems, you know, seems okay. Seems like a decent price. And, you know, I can maybe wait until uh, the movie comes out, something like that, and then, you know, flip it for a bit of money. So that's, that's one thing that I'm thinking, that there's definitely going to be uh, this has definitely attracted in my opinion new people into um a very very small marvel card market but um i think there's going to be a lot more new people come in and again that's when kind of spider-man metal comes into play because that is going to have a massive impact uh whether you like it or not it's going to be crazy crazy um when that happens so th this this is uh Again, we're, we're, we're very early, as always. I always keep saying this. I believe we're very early. And uh, 
when I heard people talking about Marvel masterpieces and things like that, you know, that's part of, that's one part of Marvel that some people haven't even looked into, which is just, and they are just stunning cards, regardless of what year you're talking about. Um, so yeah, that's one note that I had. The second, the, well, the fourth note was, there are new markets being created as such, because there are a couple of cards, which again, I'll go into in a minute, where I've not seen any of them kind of listed or sold through whether that's ebay com c etc etc um you know someone said last night about marvel cards are about perspective and how much are they willing to pay for a certain character grade etc etc but that's partly true uh, well, i mean it is true um but then also you've got some cards on here that i've not seen ever sell that we've now got a price for I mean, I'm not saying that's the new floor price. I'm not saying that whatsoever. But it gives some indication, if that makes sense. And again, I'm not an expert by any means. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my summary. But yeah, let's have a look at some of these cards, shall we? Let's get into the nitty gritty. So I believe this is Stacking Gems card. So if it is, congratulations, my friend. Great sale. 20,700 of the buyer's premium for 2013 8.5 BGS Wolverine, which is a solid card. Um... Again, sold slightly below where I think about a month ago you were looking at 25k, I think, I believe, for the same card. Uh, I remember with the buyer's premium, so 15k roughly, something like that, without the buyer's premium. So I don't know. Not bad. There or thereabouts, nevertheless, for that Wolverine. Uh, nice Doctor Strange, PSA 8, 3600 for that. Solid card, solid grade. Um, yeah, I mean, there or thereabouts. I mean, it's not too bad. So PSA 5, green Loki, 3,300. Again, not the best of grade, but it's uh, certainly no card to sniff at. It's a green from the 2015 set, Loki, number that, a 10. Not bad, not bad. But again, I get a couple of people saying, why why send these, um, you know, why send these to Golden? You know, Golden's kind of more about the higher end higher graded cards but you know if you've got if you've got an agreement or with the consigner you know you've got an agreement with these guys even with PSA if you've if you've amassed a collection of cards and then you've then sent the whole chunk to PSA and this is what you've come back with then that's probably what happened and you're not going to waste time you know cracking it and doing anything like that. it's all about speed that's the, that's the that's the key 22,200 for this 2013 uh, blue PNG of Captain America and a PSA 8, solid. And again, that's there or thereabouts, you know, a little bit down on the last few weeks or month. Uh, but yeah, not too bad on that one in particular. 2013 red Hulk, PSA 7, 2760. Not bad. This is a sweet green. PSA 8 of Human Torch, 2013 again, 5,100. And then below it is a PSA 7. Uh, of Miss Marvel, both green. Again, I think they're underpriced, uh, in my opinion. They're green from the 2013 set. Solid grades, both of them, even in a seven. I think that's fantastic. Six, seven, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't sniff at that. So, yeah, I think that's um, that's a great buy, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, we've got Blue, Phoenix, PSA 8 from the 2013 set, 1,800. Again, well below where I thought that would go. And again, is is I'm talking about markets. Like, there's loads of loads of cards, and the, the buyer, the buyer pool is small. So, you know, someone that's never bought a Marvel card before may have bought this. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, something to consider. Really nice Hulk PSA seven from 2013 set again, six thousand six hundred, which is uh, you know below where some of the comps have been in the last month or two. Absolutely. 2,400 for this 2015 PSA 9 Scarlet Witch. Very nice. Here's the big two of the night. So 2013 uh, PSA 8 of Spider-Man. In a PSA 8, as I just said, $58,200. And again, what other sales data do we have? Uh, I think probably the most recent one would be the 99,000 uh, Blue Spidey. That sold on eBay, I think. So I think that's the closest 
we can give. I think that was around three months ago, maybe two months ago. But yeah, pop two for that. That's not a bad price. And then we've got the green, 2017 green, numbered at 10, uh, PSA 8. $80,400 with the buyer's premium, which is a huge amount of money uh, for this card. Um, just insane. I think that's an absolute steal. Again, if you're if you're a, <laughs> a minted guy and you've got all the money in the world, that's uh, that's a fantastic buy and one that I would lock up for years. And then, uh, yeah, you got no worries with that one. $80,400. Wow, that's a lot of money, isn't it? 2013. Uh, Luke Cage, $2,160 for PSA 8. Another green. So, yeah. Again, Luke Cage, lower tier character, but 2000 for that, a green from 2013. So, I know, uh, you know, that, sh that should be a little bit more. Um, uh, but, yeah, definitely a great buy. Scarlet, um, no, sorry, Spider Woman, 5520 for that, 2017. Uh, isn't that interesting though? So 2017 Spider Woman again, all depends on character. In a PSA seven, five thousand five hundred twenty dollars for that. Agent Venom, two thousand forty from 2017 set in a PSA seven. Mystique, 2015 in a PSA seven, two thousand four hundred. Spider Girl, three thousand thirty dollars in a PSA seven again. These are solid grades, not too bad at all. Um, that's a good price, <laughs> it really is. Uh, SCC9, 2017 Mysterio. This is the Alpha, 1 of 10, 2160. That's a great price again. Uh, that's a really good grade as well. Really, really good grade. Solid. Uh, Vision, 2015, in a PSA 8, 2160 for that. Yeah, like, that's a green. Like, uh, that's uh, that's a steal. That's a steal. And I'm sorry if you keep thinking I'm saying the same thing. Uh, 2017 uh, bronze Spider Man. 840 for an STC 9. A storm. Beautiful storm. PSA 7 for this 2013. I should have bid that myself. Uh, 1800 for that. 450 for the uh, bronze Iron Man STC 9. This was a surprising one for me. So, fifty-one thousand six hundred dollars divided by sixty is eight thousand six hundred dollars for a box of two thousand fifteen Fury Retro, which I think is uh, pretty good. You know, when you when you think about two thousand fifteen, you know, rough prices nine to twelve k. You know, I've heard some private deals in the twelve k twelve k mark. So, um, pretty good buy for that. I think. Again, if you're opening it up, you get some PMGs out of it, you grade it. Um, I think you'll be all right. I really do. It's a risk. I wouldn't do it. But um, <laughs> I think that's a, that's a great buy, 51000 I would have I would expect that to go for a lot more, to be honest. Um, but yeah, really nice. We got my boy, Star-Lord, in a PSA 7, 1200 for that, 2015. Namor, 2015. PSA 7, 1,200 again. 2015 Blues, 1,320 for She-Hulk. Um, again, like that, that, so perfect example for me, and this is my brain, whether it's stupid or not, I don't know. I would buy that, 1,320, thank you very much. When does She-Hulk come out in terms of the series? Uh, next year, I would list that one month before the release. I reckon you could probably double your money there. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? Could be talking absolute sh shizzle. Uh, nice vision, blue again. And the 2013 Mystique PSA 7, 1560. That's a steal. Absolute steal. Nice Thor, uh, SGC 9, 1440. 1200 for Craven. Speculative character. Uh, PSA 8 for that. Captain America PSA 7, 1,200. And again, they, these are run-of-the-mill cards that we get to see on eBay pretty consistently. And again, that's why people have questioned why are some of these on Golden. And I can't disagree with you, but if you're going to send it all in at once, saves you time. And, you know, you, you've got connections and stuff like that. Why wouldn't you do it, I guess? 
uh, even you know not maximizing profit etc this is interesting so 2015 red pmg set all graded uh the spidey i believe was a psa 7 let me just double check i'm not talking crap so yeah it was a psa 7 uh, there's a few fives in there, eight, seven. So mixed grades on this, but this that sold for sixty thousand with the buyer's premium. Uh, you think about well, a couple of months ago, a red PMG set from the 2017. Uh, well, yeah, 2017 red PMG set sold for two hundred five thousand two hundred with the buyer's premium. <laughs> That's pretty insane. So that is um, you know I'm not gonna say worrying, <laughs> but that that that's a massive drop uh, if you're looking at it in that kind of sense in terms of comps um so yeah i think someone got a fantastic buy there you know even with just a couple of those cards to hold longer term i think you'd be absolutely okay so yeah fascinating to see how see where that one went uh, a few more to go so 2015 thor again SGC 9 1560 this is a beaut. One of my favourite cards, uh, a PMG cards. So this is 2015 uh, green PMG of Doctor Strange in about 10 in a BGS 8.5. So very solid grade. Uh, you know, Doctor Strange, one of the you know near top tier characters. Movie coming out, all that good stuff. Very relevant. <coughs> Excuse me. Eight th- eight thousand four hundred. With the buyer's premium. That's an absolute steal. Absolute steal. I think someone was even talking about, you know, cracking it open and getting it graded with PSA, something like that. But I don't know. Either way, um, that's a fantastic card. And just an absolute beauty to look at, in my opinion. One of the best. One of the best. But yeah, surprised to see that went for that. Uh, so we've got a bronze Spider-Man 2099, $390 for that, $1,200 for the Dr. Ock, PSA 9, the uh, Accenture, as I said, for $5,400 for that, the uh, Wolverine bronze, PSA 8, 450 again, they're the kind of cards that should be on eBay, uh, as mentioned before, PSA 8, PSA 5, sorry, of Deadpool, sold for 2,042, that's pretty good considering the grade, that's, uh, this looks a bit mis- kind of um yeah there's a few surface issues as as uh, they said on the video last night but um fascinating to see it went for that a few more greens from the 2017 set so 1400 1440 for luke cage shocker 1320 and uh salmon 1320 very nice again this could you never know this could be someone trying to put a set together themselves there's all different scenarios it um, you can think about. So someone could have bought these three and think, oh, okay, I've got three three of the the green PMGs. Let's see if I can get a set together. I don't know. Just throwing, throwing some uh, ideas out there. <laughs> 2013 red PSA 7, 1,300. A few more cards. This was another one that I've surprised by the price. 2013 blue PMG of Dot Strange PSA 7, 3,900 for that. Uh, nice rogue there, 1,200. 2015 Vibranium Ra- Radiance, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, PSA 9, 3,600 for that. The uh, Tom Holland um, Exquisite, numbered out of 23, PSA 9, 5,100 for that, which is solid. This was a surprising one for me. So I think that's the highest price for this so far. 2017 uh, Flit Ultra Spider-Man Royal Foil, numbered out of 25 for Ultimate Spider-Man. PSA 8, 7,800 with the buyer's premium. So again, Miles Morales, as always, that's a solid price for that. So that that did surprise me. Bronze, uh, 330 for that Daredevil. I think there's a few more. Human Torch, 1,140. Hulk again, PSA 7 from 2017 set. The gold one of one for uh, Red Skull from the 2015 set, so over sixteen thousand eight hundred. Again, nothing to compare against, really. It, um, you know, you could look at the greens and the blues, but there are different years and things like that. So, really, nothing to compare about. But yeah, solid price for that. Um, another Nova. 
lots more blues, nice Nova blue, PSA 6 again, still nothing to sniff at. And then the gold, one of one of the Dr. Ock 2017 went for 14,400. So yeah, people out there buying this stuff, that is for sure. And you can't say that, uh, you know, this is gold in, so there's none of that. Oh, has it been paid for? Stuff like that. Uh, you have to kind of, it's a lot more rigorous in terms of the process for gold in and, you know, some of the other auction houses and things. So yeah, solid. We got Iceman. Mr. Fantastic, it's again PSA 5. Another Royal Fool, PSA 7, 3000 for that. Um, and here we go. So, a few different things. We've got a 2017 Gold Foil Web Autograph, 1200 for this. This was a PSA 8 Auto 10. Fascinating. I've not seen anything like this on the market in terms of graded or sell. Um, well, I haven't seen anything. I don't think I've actually seen anything. So, 1,200 for that. Uh, that was fascinating to see. And then you got the Jambalayas 2017 complete set uh, of 30 cars all graded PSA, $22,200. So let's do a little bit of uh, mathematics, <laughs> as always. So $733 per card. And again, that was the buyer's premium, etc. So not bad, not bad. And again, there's some strong grades in here. Let's have a look, shall we? So you've got a nine for the Spider-Man, which is, you know, very, very good. Some, yeah, some really solid grades. Lots of eights and nines there. So, yeah, really nice to see. For that, uh, 3,000 for 2017 for it. I'll just Spider-Man Preserved Ambers, numbered out of 175. <coughs> Lots more. We've got Red Hulk again. PSA 8, 6,000 for that one, which is number 99. Interesting to see the, yeah, the comparison between that and the, uh, the other one. And then the final one, which was a Domino PSA 7. So let's head over to what's going to end tonight. So we've got 2013 uh, BGS 9.5 Venom. That should go pretty well, I would imagine. People want to buy uh, the uh, gold labels. There's a premium on that, for sure. Nice BGS 8 of uh, Thor. Loads of talk, talk about this Galactus. Where does this go? I would say over 6, 7k easily. We've got Silver Surfer in the background. Uh, that's a sweet car. BGS 9 from the 2013 set. Very, very nice. Lots of eyes on that. Uh, we got more reds from the 2013 set. These are slightly better grey. So we've got PSA 9 and got PSA 8 for that Thanos. Green Black Widow from the 2015 set and a PSA 10. Tick 6,000 already. Wow, that's a solid card. Black Panther, uh, PSA 8.5. I'm a big fan of uh, the PSA 8.5. I really love that. Not something you see every day. 2,200. BGS 9.5, 1,800 for that Venom. Be fascinating to see where this one goes. 2015, uh, Doctor Strange, PSA 8. Wolverine there, PSA 8. Uh, watching this one closely as well. 6,075 already for that one. BGS 8.5 uh, from the 2015 set of Spider-Man. And then 2017, Red Spider-Man and BGS 8 is at 4,250. Couple of BSGs. They've been selling really well recently on eBay. Beautiful Venom, 2017 Venom, PSA 8. BGS 9 of the 2017 Spider-Man, 7,250 for that. Again, you've got a lot of options to choose from. So putting them on at the same time, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, I would rather just have one at the same time, but, you know, is what it is. Royal Foils, we've got Black Tranchard, 1,000. That's uh, number out of 99. Got the Deadpool, number out of 99,000 for that. PSA 8 again. And a couple more blues, which are very nice. STC uh, 10 of Ultimate Spider-Man. And uh, number out of 99, 1,600. And you've got the, uh, it's be interesting where this one goes, Spider-Man out of 99, 2,500 in STC 10, which is solid grade. Uh, 2020 Marvel Masterpieces, BSG. Uh, number that 99 as well so 
that is what's on there tonight. A couple of PWCC ones that I saw pop up. So these end on the 16th of April, so six days. So you've got a green uh, Doctor Strange from the 2013 set this time. So does that go over the uh, 2015, which ended at 8 5? Um, <clears throat> interesting to see where that goes. And then you've got a PSA 9 blue Spidey from the 2017 set, which is currently, uh, again, they set them at 12 and 6, uh, respectively. So yeah, fascinating to see where those go. But yeah, what a night. What's next Marvel cards? Who knows? But I know one thing. Uh, it's still early days. That's all I'm going to say. I really truly believe that. And as always, if you're having fun doing all this, collecting Marvel cards, watching this content, please do hit the uh, like, subscribe button down below. Comment your favourite bit. Uh, what cards surprise you the most? And again, there's lots to dive into. There's loads more you know sales data that i could dive into but i would be here for a long time um but yeah fascinating to see uh, let's see what happens tonight as well uh, try and keep you updated and uh, as always have a great weekend marvel cards baby <laughs>